Hi crafty friends, this is Ginger Pana on Ginger Pana YouTube and I wanted to do a come and do a quick video share of a swap that I'm getting ready to mail out and this is um, the Love is in the Air newbie swap and it is a flipbook swap and it I'm part of a Facebook group called Snail Mail Flipbooks and it's hosted by Kamika Touch and um, we had a one-on-one -on -one assignment, a swap partner, and we had to make a flip book. And some of the rules were, or yeah, were to include hearts, pink, red, or anything Valentine's or love related. Must be between the sizes four by six and six by six, with a minimum of four pages. And so my flip book here is six by six, and this is my very first fully completed flip book that I've created so I'm really happy that I finally finished and completed a flip book. I was um, tinkering around before but I've never really um, you know filled it up and sent it off to some a home but um, I do you know when you make things for the first time you always learn and so for me um, what I would do differently next time is to try to make my spines a little bit more wider to give enough like a gusset or something so that it has enough room to um, make way for the embellishments the bulkiness of the embellishment so that's one thing that I would do differently um, but anyways I think um, I enjoyed making it and I think it came out um, pretty cute so Lynn I hope you enjoy your flip book and so first off this is the cover and because of the bulkiness I wanted to kind of hold it down a little bit and so I was going to make a belly band, but then it would take away from the decorations on the front. And so I found this pink tool and I made a bow and I wrapped it like a present. And so this way Lynn can use the tool for uh, another project. Okay, and in the front, in the front, I clothes pin. I have a small little mini clothes pin and it has two tools on it. So I kind of bow tied the teal pom-pom on top of the other one okay, and then there's a, a pen here a mini pen it has owls on it and in the bowl of the tool there are two stick pins that I made and it's kind of flat red flowers pink and red flowers so it's stuck in there and then then can use it for another embellishment for another project and so all you do is untie the tool bowl so it's a generous amount of tool and she can use it for another project. Okay, so here's my front cover. So here I have an XO, X, XO felt piece that I glittered up. I use a creative time bowl with a pearl embellishment. And I glued her name, I spelled her, her name with these foam stickers that I had. And these are cut out hearts, scribble hearts with some glittered uh, heart stickers. Okay, so that's the cover. And then when you open it, um, actually this is one of the other pages. Let me flip it around. Let's start with the very back cover. So this page, it has a doily with hearts background paper. And so I tried to mimic it where I kind of kept with the theme. And I made some cupcake liner rosettes with a sticker heart in the middle. It says, hello, sweet friend. And then... Um, I have to tack this down a little better and then this is a heart doily so I only glued it right here on the bottom so it kind of made a pocket and in the pocket I made I put some ephemera in it just some Valentine's ephemera okay, and this one is really pretty I downloaded this digital art and I fussy cut it out but it's really cute it has some roses in the mason jar okay and then maybe we'll get to this page a little later. So when you open the flip book, here you have this middle section. And so this middle section flips up. So this has an acetate page on it. And so you can flip it up here and there's another page under it. But for this, I cut out a 6x6 acetate and I washi taped the top. And then it has an XOXO banner. And I made a little pocket to hold this airmail uh, paper clip that I made. So I made this little envelope and I thought this sticker was so cute. I saw it in my sticker embellishments and it says um, love is in the air 
and it I thought it was oh how appropriate. This is the um does it go I don't think it's focusing very well. So I thought, oh what a great um sticker find because it matches the title of our swap. And it's on a paper airplane. And then here's a feather embellishment just stuck in the pocket here. Okay. Then when you flip up this acetate page, it has another pocket in here, and here's a love uh, designer paper. It has love and some Tweety Birds here. So I made a pocket, and then here I put um, lots of different tags and doilies that she can use. And I left it plain so that um, she can decorate it and use it however she wants to because um, it would have made the flip book even that much more bulky. Okay, and then if you move over to this page, this is the Read Me page. So I have a letter tucked here in this pocket, and it's just something a little something about myself and what I like to do. And I found this uh, cut apart, and I stick with the heart, and I made this heart shaker, and I cut out love several times, and I glued it together to make it sturdy and I kind of stickled, sorry for the glare, I kind of stickled the words okay okay and then the back page here when you close it um, I made a another page and this is a cupcake rosette again with a um, I guess a medallion but it's kind of lacy and this I found on a roll and I forgot where I found it from but I bought this spool somewhere and it has lots of lots and lots of um, lace on it and so I just cut some of the medallions out and I used it as the center of the rosette and a little uh, bling that I had in my stash this is really cute and it matched perfectly with the background paper and so and then these pockets here I watched YouTube and I watched many different YouTubes but um, there's a lot out there to make these pocket hearts and so it was very easy very fun I used double-sided paper and I kinda got carried away and I made a lot but I'm gonna use it in my other swaps that I'm in okay, and in here I filled it with different kind of heart tried to do some lots of heart embellishments so in here I some of the stickers postage stickers and then I made a fringed heart and so this fringed heart um, is just backed on cardstock but I used my a lot of people um, talk about fringe scissors and it's from Martha Stewart uh, mine's is from Stampin' Up okay, but it really makes um, making fringes very very easy and even Okay, and then I did this die cut Be My Valentine and then I die cut another heart in the back with glitter, black glitter paper. And these are the new MFT dies. Um, I think they're called geometric hearts. And I cut these out so she can use it however she wants to. There is a vellum a heart shaker that I got from the Target dollar spot. And I gifted her more medallions. And these banners were a download. And I just fussy cut them out and then I put washi tape on the top okay, so she can use them in another project and on the heart as you can see it's double sided oh no there's an ant on my it's really really hot here in the islands uh, for the past several days and so if you hear my fan going on in the background it's been really really humid so um, anyways this heart I use double sided paper and there is a uh, bowl for my stash and it's a sequin bowl okay and then finally the back cover is just a simple tag that I got from the Target dollar spot and a sticker and I glued, I glued it all together and then I made this little card that says what swap we're in and some of my information on my social media and that's it that's my flip book and so Lynn, I hope you enjoy your flip book. Okay?
I'll see you again, crafty friends, in another video. Have a blessed day. Bye.